Hi everybody and welcome to another watercolor tutorial. Today we're going to paint these two cute little penguins. Uh, so just grab your paper, your paints, and your paintbrush and let's get started. You will only need water and black watercolor for this painting and the first thing you want to do to make it easier for yourself is to just take a, a pencil and lightly sketch out the shape of a penguin. I drew two penguins, one with its flippers down and one with its flippers up, but you can of course paint it as you would like, or sorry, draw it in whatever shape you would like. And then you're going to cover the entire thing in water, making sure to stay in the lines because we are going to use the natural effect of water bleeding out when a surface is wet. Um, we're going to use that to our advantage and if you wet the surface outside of your sketch then it's not going to look like a penguin anymore so just make sure you stay within the lines. Once your surface is completely wet, making sure to take extra care not to leave any pools of water anywhere, you're going to take black watercolor and very thinly just rim the entirety of the um, border of your penguin and this allows that water or the watercolor rather to spread and bleed inwards and it just kind of moves and creates the rough um, color pattern of a penguin and you can even add some cute little feet using black watercolor that hasn't been watered down uh, and this can just be kind of a rough triangular shape with three little prongs uh, because that's kind of what penguin feet look like. Here I'm just doing the exact same thing on my second penguin. This one has the flippers out, so again, I'm covering that entire sketch uh, with a layer of water, making sure that I'm staying within the lines. And you might want to go over it with water a couple of times depending on the quality of your watercolor paper. Some paper tends to uh, dry a lot more quickly, uh, whereas if you have, you know, 100% cotton paper, it tends to hold the water a lot better and just makes the whole process easier. So just take care to keep your surface wet but not drenched the entire time. You can even go over it a second time if uh, it doesn't really spread out to your liking. You can just wet the surface of the penguin again once it has completely dried and then uh, basically do the same process all over again. So here I'm just completing my second penguin, making sure to add the little feet at the bottom to complete the penguin. Uh, I think it looks so, so, so cute. Uh, and it's a very, very easy process. I even went ahead and took a very thin brush and just outlined my penguin with black. I made the head black just because the reference photos that I was looking at, um, the penguins' heads, their, their heads were black, I don't know. Uh, it didn't really turn out looking that great, but uh, you can do whatever you would like with the head. I even painted on a little beak and some eyes using acrylic paint. Uh, they look a little bit scary this way, so I did change it up uh, later on after I finished filming, and you can see that in the final picture, but you can definitely... Um, what I did is I, I had the eyes be white, but then I kind of painted a white strip around the eyes leading to the edge of the head, and that made it look a lot more penguin-like. <laughs> but you can again do whatever you would like. And that's about it. That's our quick penguin tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you in next week's tutorial.